Welcome back, this is Yamma Jack, and today we got some Gunslinger Verticality Suicidal. You haven't played Verticality in a while, I like it. You know what? Oh no, I was gonna say we could play Commando, yeah, but uh, it's too late, dude. The Zed are close. Yeah. Safety's off. What does that say? I can't I can't read it because it's forever away. If I play sharpshooter, get the um scopes. Zoom right in, dude. I can't shoot at all, dude. What the heck is wrong with me? What the heck is wrong with me, dude? We haven't played on verticality in a while, but I do like this map. It's a good map. Feeding the world with too many cows. I'm not gonna go on my cow rant today. But I don't like how many cows there are, okay? If I have, uh, if I have any kind of uh, stance, any kind of political stance in the world, that there are too many cows in existence. It's no good. I'm not gonna go on my I'm not gonna go on my cow rant though. Don't worry about it. It's not there. It's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna do it. I'll go on a horse rant. I'll go on a horse rant. Y'all ever ridden a horse? Have I talked about riding a horse before? I don't know. I might have. I don't remember. Um But y'all ever ridden a horse before? Cause uh I don't know if you have, but I have. So if you haven't, that makes me cooler than you. Look, I'm not the one who makes the rules. Okay, I'm just the one who follows them. See ya! Another one. See ya! Hey. Um, I rode a horse. I rode, I rode a horse once. I rode a horse once. I rode a horse of, uh, of me. Um, but I rode a horse once. It was uh, a good time. No, it wasn't. That's a lie. It was a terrible time. I hated it. You know, it was, uh... We were sitting in the... I don't know. Like, the, it's a fenced-off area where the horses were. You get on the horses there. Then you ride them out to the, uh... To the, um... Like, path that you go on with the horse. There's, like, a, a route that you take around the, uh... The area. It was like, uh... If you've never ridden a horse before, hop on this horse, and, and they're like trains to, to go on this one route, right? So uh, you, you hop on, and it takes you around this this route around the foresty area, and down some weird mountainy things, and not really mountainy things, but like mounds of, uh, of dirt. And uh, you're all good to go. It's a nice, safe experience. However, the whole way through, I just... I don't understand instructions, maybe, um, but, like, I could never figure out how the heck I got my horse to not walk me into a bunch of branches, and so the entire time we were going through the forest, and I just had, like, branches in my face, and I was, like, like trying to get rid of all the leaves and brush that just got slammed into my mouth, pulling the hair out of my eyes, and sticks out of my eyes and I'm like okay uh, we get to um, this one spot where uh, well okay so so anyway we're in the uh, we're in the like kennel area you know the fenced off um, bit where you get on the horses and uh, so I, I, I don't you know they, they they're giving us the, the explanation on how to make the horse move and how to control it and stuff, and I'm like, okay. So I, I do it, you know. Nobody else did it, but they were like, so if you want to make your horse move, you just uh, do this, and then you get to do this and this to make your horse, you know, turn, right? Simple, pretty simple stuff, right? So they're like, you know, you squeeze your thighs together or whatever, uh, just a little bit, and the horse will start walking slowly. And so I, uh, I squeezed my thighs together a little bit, and the horse started walking slowly, and I'm like, okay, that's cool. Um, and uh, when when I did, my mother my mother looks at me and she's like, "Your horse is moving! Your horse is moving!" And I'm like, "Yeah, I <laughs> I'm on it. <laughs> I know my horse is moving." Um, but we put we make fun of her for that uh, still because. She was like letting me know that my horse is moving, like genuinely concerned that I didn't know that my horse is moving. I'm like, yeah, no, I'm on it. 
I'm aware. Um, so then you like uh, pull in the reins or whatever to make it stop or whatever. Um, not the wrong way because then it'll get mad at you or whatever. But like you, you, you stop the horse and you're not moving anymore, right? Which is all fine and dandy and stuff. Um, so uh, yeah, then we were then we we're going through the forest and stuff, and I just get like branches and twigs and leaves and stuff in my face the whole time and we come up this one part where it's kind of like going down a uh, pretty steep dirt mound and I'm like okay so like my horse is gonna lean all the way forward and I'm gonna fall off the horse and I almost did and then we get back to the to the place and everybody around me my family they're all like man that was such a cool experience and I'm like I am tired I'm in pain Every part of my body is sore. I think I smell like poop. And, uh, I almost fell off the horse like eight times. Really just not a fun experience. But everybody around me is all like, oh, this was such a good time. And I'm like, did we do different things here or something? Because that sucked. <laughs> Every aspect of it sucked. I don't know. I just, uh, for me, I can't... I like, you know, the horse was nice. I liked being with the horse and, like, standing with the horse and, and petting the horse and, you know, feeding the horse and like, that kind of stuff. That kind of stuff is, is fun for me. Um, but then you want me to ride the horse somewhere and, and control the horse and tell me where, like, tell the horse where to go and stuff, and I'm just like, eh, can I just lie down on the horse and like go to sleep or something instead that sounds like a much better option to me <laughs> riding the horse was not fun it was not a fun experience I'm feeling generous. a lot of people around here have horses though a lot of people around here have horses we live in uh not in the country but we don't live far away from like you know the country so to speak with uh lots of land lots of horses around here you know you, it's not hard to go for a drive and, and find like a ranch with just tons of horses or sheep or cows or something like that you know which is another cool thing or not cool necessarily but weird thing uh that i think about from time to time because like there are places where i'll go driving to like the airport or ferry um or something like that you know typically they don't keep like ranches and farms and stuff in like residential areas that's typically in the commercial areas or in the uh not necessarily commercial areas but just the empty land um, and then ferries and airports are generally put also in empty land town, you know, because that's just kind of how stuff ends up working out. But, um, so when you go to the airport or the ferry or something like that, um, or even just up island, we can't really help but drive past, uh, like a lot of cow poop and you can smell it, dude. It's uh, it's a stench, and it it, it kind of it's kind of interesting to me that there are probably people out there who have never been going for a drive and had to like roll up their windows to get rid of the the stench of like animal poop. There are probably people who just don't live near farms and stuff, you know. Which is kind of crazy to me. Crazy how different people's lives can be just because you you grew up somewhere different, right? Like obvious, yeah, but crazy too. It's expected, but uh, it's just it's one of those expected things that's just like, if you really think about it, it makes sense, but also kind of cool, because um, I, I, that, that's an experience that isn't unique to me at all, um, but it is an experience that uh, a lot of people don't have, which is cool. Um, definitely, uh, definitely cool. But yeah, there's a lot of uh, cows and, and stuff nearby. We got like uh, dairy plants on the island and stuff. It's, uh, it's it's pretty cool all around. We're actually getting into the colder weather. Speaking of cool, we're actually getting into the colder weather now. Like last night, it got down to four degrees Celsius, which is. Uh, like, 30, I want I want to say that's 30, like, 7 or 38 degrees Fahrenheit, I want to say. Uh, 4C in F. 39 Fahrenheit. 39 Fahrenheit. 
But it was down to about 4 degrees Celsius last night. Um, which is nice. I like the cold weather, honestly. Um, you know, I'm, I'm sitting here. Honestly, I'm a little chilly. I'm recording right now. I'm chilly. Okay. I'm a little on the on the chillier side for sure. And to me, that's just a, a really nice thing to have. I like being a little bit on the chillier side. I like being a little bit colder. I don't like the, the heat. And uh, we're getting into... Like, if I take a look at the, the weather forecast for today, or for the week even, um, we have today a high of 11 degrees. And that's the highest we're getting all week. <laughs> so we're getting into the colder weather for sure. We're not quite at uh, at freezing territory. Like, if I take a look at the lows... Yeah, the lowest we're getting is only one degree this week. Um, so probably like midnight on Saturday or Sunday. Oh my, I looked away for a moment and we get a flesh pound just in our face, dude. Um, the lowest that we're getting is, is one degree like Saturday and Sunday nights. Um, which is like, uh, you know, it's definitely cold, but we're not quite at... Um, like, we haven't had our fireplace on yet, so... We're not quite there yet, but uh, definitely, definitely we're getting into the say goodbye to, to shorts territory here soon. Say goodbye to t-shirts. To say hello to cute sweaters and stuff. It's definitely getting colder, which is nice uh, because um, largely I like blanket weather. Um, so last night I had my, my heavy blanket on. You know, I talked about needing a, a mid blanket. We're past that point now. You're a real survivor. We're firmly, firmly situated in heavy blanket weather now, which is nice. I like my heavy blanket. Got maybe a smaller heavy blanket, also ready to go for if it's ever too cold. But that probably won't happen until uh, a little bit later once we start getting down to like negative five to maybe negative ten ish somewhere in that range, which is typically like the coldest weather um, that we see here. Um, we, don't, we don't get too cold here. Our, our, uh, our nights only get down to like at the lowest, negative 10. Um, so not, not a super cold region, but uh, at the same time, I, I'm going to say that negative 10 is not a super cold region, and there's probably going to be people out there who are like, you what, mate? Like last night I was talking with some friends about how uh, like it's getting into the cold weather. It was like negative four last night. So I had to pull up my, my heavy blanket. First night I didn't need a fan on since uh, summer started basically. Um, I didn't necessarily have a fan on every single night because there were some nights where I was like, I just don't really want to turn my fan on. And then I woke up covered in sweat. Um, but it was the first night where I, I kind of got to... To relax, put on my heavy blanket, keep warm that way, and then not have to have the fan running, which is kind of nice, but then I also kind of like that white noise from the fan, too. So it's kind of not nice at the same time, but, you know. Um. But we're getting into that, that, that colder weather now, so I'm into it. I was talking to some friends last night, anyway, and it, uh, I was talking about I was, like, negative four out. And uh, they were, they were talking because they're like you know East Coast, um, you know America, Canada, sort of over towards that side, right? And they were talking about how uh, they were like, "Well, sounds nice because it's still like blazingly hot." <laughs> and uh, they're they're still like waking up covered in sweat and stuff and. Just wondering how they're going to make it through, you know? And I'm like, yeah, well, you know, move up here to, to good old Canada and uh, you won't be burning to death anymore until until summer comes and you're used to the, the cold of the winter and then summer comes and you're just like, eh, it's like 20 degrees outside. What am I going to do? You know? And, uh, yeah. Um, but it's kind of interesting how, how different uh, regions have different temperatures too, right? Same same kind of thing as uh, as there being different um, like uh, 
ways of being raised or whatever across different regions. It's uh, you, know, you got different temperatures and stuff too. That's also cool in my opinion. I think it's cool anyway. Maybe maybe you don't, but I I do. Because you end up with different experiences. You know, you end up with the people who it's like 15 degrees Celsius outside there, and like, oh, my fingers are just like freezing. And they're like shivering and stuff, and it's like 15 degrees outside. And then you got us over here in, in West Coast Canada who we get like 15 degree weather, and we're like, ah, it's a beautiful day out. Perfect weather. <laughs> and then uh, you got us over here who we get like four degrees Celsius weather, right? And we're like, ah, yeah, it was a bit of a cold night. And you got the people over in like Alberta or something who are getting snow already, and it's like sub zero. <laughs> and they're like, oh, must be nice to have such warm weather over there. But uh, it's all relative, right? And I think it's interesting. Anyway, uh, we're going to end it there. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. How cold is cold for you and how hot is hot for you? What are those, what are those thresholds for you? I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.